Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Aniruddha, call sign VU3FML. In the last video, we saw how to make a code plug for the Anytone 878 Handy. In this video, we are going to install and configure the PyStar software onto the hotspot. The hotspot is made up of MMDVM board and a Raspberry Pi 0W. So let's get started. There are certain prerequisites. The first thing is that you need to have a valid amateur radio license, which gives you a call sign. You need to have a DMR ID. If you don't know how to get this DMR ID, please watch the Droid Star video that I uploaded earlier. I will put the link to that video in the description below. You need to have a Brandmeister hotspot security password. If you don't know how to get it, it's mentioned in the same video. You need to download the latest PyStar image. Now, in order to do that, you need to go to the pystar.uk website. And in the download section, you will get a link to download a zip file for PyStar for Raspberry Pi. Download the zip file and extract its contents. It will contain an image file. You need to flash that image file onto a SD card using a program like HR or something similar. HR is a very simple program which uh, is used uh, to flash an image file onto SD card. It is as simple as selecting an image, selecting the drive, and just flashing it. You need to build and download a WPA underscore supplicant file. In order to do that, you need to go to the pystar.uk website and in pystar tools, click the link of Wi Fi Builder. Here, you need to enter the SSID of your Wi-Fi router and enter the password. Click Submit and the WPA underscore supplicant file will be downloaded. Copy this file onto the root directory of the SD card. The last step is to insert the SD card in the hotspot and power it up. It will start booting it will take few minutes for it to completely boot. Wait for some time. After a few minutes, open up a browser on a laptop which is connected to the same Wi-Fi router, which means that that laptop needs to be in the same network. Click on this link or copy paste this link in the address bar. If the Raspberry Pi has been booted up completely, you will be greeted with this page. It will be mentioned that no mode defined, which is true because we have not yet configured the Pi Star. In order to configure the Pi Star, click on the link of configuration. You may be asked uh, for a username and password. The default username is PyStar and the default password is Raspberry with a P. Once you enter into the configuration, you need to see that the controller software is the MMDVM host. The controller node is Simplex node since our hotspot is Simplex. Now in this section of control software, if you make any changes, you need to click apply changes. This is true for every section. In the MMDVM host configuration, turn on the DMR mode. You don't have to make any changes over here. At the bottom, since our MMDVM hotspot 
has got an OLED of 0.96 inches. We select OLED type 3. You don't have to touch the port and the layout. Press apply changes. Whenever the apply changes button is pressed, it takes a few minutes for the Raspberry Pi to make the changes. In the general configuration, enter the host's name as pi star. You can put any name. In the node call sign, enter your call sign. In the DMR ID, enter your DMR ID. In the radio frequency, enter the frequency you want to use for communication with your hotspot. I have chosen 434.5. So the, this is the frequency by which the radio will be communicating with the hotspot. Enter your latitude and longitude of your location. Enter the town name. Select the country name. Enter a URL. For example, of your profile on qrz.com. Select auto. In the radio modem type, select STM32-DVM MMDVM HS dash Raspberry Pi hat into bracket GPIO. For node type, select public. For APRS host enable, keep it enabled. APRS host is kept as default. For system time zone, select the time zone for your location and the dashboard language has been chosen as English US. Press apply changes and wait for Raspberry Pi to make these changes happen. In the next section of DMR configuration, select a DMR master. This can be chosen closest to your location. I have chosen BM3104 United States. Here you need to enter the hotspot security password of the Brandmeister. You can check the video which I have linked in the description. It gives the detailed process of how to get this hotspot security password. The ESSID has been chosen as none. I'm using just one hotspot and so I have not selected any extended SSID. The rest of the setting remain just like that and press apply changes. You don't have to make any changes in mobile GPS configuration or firewall configuration. Here you will see your wireless LAN being connected and it will give you the IP address. This gives the information about the Wi-Fi router to which your hotspot is currently connected. In this area, you can change the remote access password if you want, but I have kept it just the default. So that's it. These are the basic changes or basic configuration that is necessary to get your Pi Star running. Once you have done configuring the Pi Star, you can go to the power link here and you can click on to reboot the Raspberry Pi. It will reboot and again come back to the main page. If you go to the dashboard after it has been rebooted, you will see that it is connected to DMR. 
the network status as DMR net. It will show you if it is listening and will show that the DMR repeater is on TS2, that is time slot 2. In this area, you will see the gateway activity. You will see who is calling and what is the duration of the call and how much was the transmission loss and BER in percentage. So that's it. This is about installing and configuring the Pi Star onto your hotspot. If you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel. It gives me great motivation to bring new content for you. Thank you very much for watching this video.